In this lecture, I would like to talk about how swimmers control their front crawl swimming speed. The following is an outline of the today's lecture. First of all, as a background of the research, I will explain the determinants of the movement speed in the terrestrial and aquatic locomotion. Next, I will talk about the feature of the front crawl and present the research question of this lecture. Secondly, based on the result of our laboratory experiments, I will explain how does the swimmer control his or her swimming speed and what makes the difference in the swimming speed between an, a fast swimmer and a slow swimmer. Thirdly, based on the result of the numerical outcomes, I will explain the factor limiting the swimming speed based on the computer simulation result, and then I will explain how the propulsive force is generated based on the result of the flow visualization experiment. Finally, as a summary, how can the new findings be applied to the coaching the competitive swimming? And I will also discuss some of the research questions that needed to be resolved in the light of the today's presentation. As some of you may not be familiar with swimming, I would like to start by reviewing how we move on land and the relationship between speed and movement. As we all know, in cyclical human movement, speed S is determined by the product of cycle rate CR and cycle length CL. Dr. Hay found that when a human performs multiple trials of a given form of cyclic locomotion at the wide range of the speed and without constraint on the cycle rate or cycle length, the relationship of the CR versus S and CL versus S have the same basic characteristics as do those for any other form of cyclic locomotion. In fact, the CR versus S curve or 